Hi you four, Mrs Smith here for the maths lesson. We're going to be looking at rounding today. Our learning objective is going to round any number to the nearest 10, 100 or 1000. So why do we round numbers? What's that big picture? Rounding is a way of simplifying numbers to make them easier to understand and work with. It's useful when an exact number isn't needed. Okay, so let's have a look at some examples. So when saying larger numbers, like a population of somewhere, you don't want to say 299,588,632, you could just say 300 million. We use words like roughly and approximately when we're saying that. You could use it to check answers to a calculation to see if you are right, if you're going to get in the kind of rough area of how you're doing when you've calculated it. So um, you could have 356 and 234. You could round to the nearest 100, which would be 400 and 200, and then your answer will be around 600. Or you could round to the nearest 10, 360 add 230, and then your answer should be around 590. When you've calculated it, then you should get roughly that. Or when you're spending your pocket money at a shop, you wouldn't want to get to the till and not have enough, would you? So you could round things up to the nearest pound as you went along. Can you remember the rules for rounding to the nearest 10, 100 or 1,000? I'd like you to watch the next video and see if you can unpick the steps to success. Hi, Albert. Wow, that's a lot of sweets. What's Jerry doing? Oh, labelling each jar with the number of sweets. But how do you know how many sweets each jar can hold? Oh, wow, impressive. But with something like this, you don't need to be so exact. You can round the number to give a rough estimate of how much the jar can hold instead. Lovely. Rounding numbers gives a general idea of what the total is. It can make the number easier to understand, quicker to say, and in this case, leave a little wiggle room. To round a number to the nearest 10, look at the ones. Yep, that's the one, Jerry. If the number ends in five or more, round it up. 156 is rounded up to 160. But if it's four or less, then round the numbers down. To round a number to the nearest 100, look at the tens digit and apply the same rule. Five or higher, round up. Four or less, round down. The same rules apply if we want to round to the nearest thousand, but instead we look at the hundreds digit and round up or down from there. Good idea, Jerry. I think Albert's had enough. We're going to do the lesson in kind of three parts today. We're going to look at rounding to 10, look at the steps to success and do some work. Then we're going to come back and do rounding to 100. And then we come back and do rounding to 1000. So you could take this over three days if you wanted to. OK, let's have a look at rounding to 10. Let's have a look at the steps to success for rounding to the nearest 10. Did you get from the video that if the ones are below five, you round down? And if the ones are five or above, you round up? Do you remember the rhyme that we said in class? One to four, touch the floor, five to nine, climb the vine to help you remember. One to four, touch the floor is rounding down and five to nine, climb the vine is rounding up. Let's look at the number 67. It lies between the two tens, 60 and 70. We need our steps to success to decide whether we've got to round up or down. If we have a look, it ends in a seven. So we're looking at those ones. So seven comes between five and nine, so we've got to climb the vine. So 67 rounds to 70. Let's have a look at 382. This one lies between 380 and 390. Using the steps of success, I can see that the ones end in a two. So two comes between one and four, touch the floor, so I'm rounding down. So 382 rounds to 380. Now it's time for you to have a little go. Have a look at 756. It lines between 750 and 760. Use the steps to success. What do you think it rounds to? Pause the video and then come back to me and we'll check it. That's right, 756 ends in six ones, so it rounds up to 760. Now it's your go. I'd like everyone to have a go at Chili One for the nearest 10. If you have a look, you need to put the tens that the number lies between. So A is 41, so it lies between 40 and 50. I then want you to use the steps to success to decide whether it rounds to 40 or to 50. 
pause the video, have a go, and then come back and check. How did you get on? You can mark your own work. Well done, guys. We'll have a look at Chili 2 now. Now I want you to all have a go at Chili 2. Look at the following numbers and what are they to, rounded to the nearest 10. Use the steps to success, the little rhyme, to help you. Pause the video and then come back and check in a minute. How did you get on? Mark your own work. Well done, guys. Now let's look at Chili 3. Now have a go at Chili 3. A supermarket sells 187 cartons of juice in one day. How many is that to the nearest 10? France sold 1,524 tickets to the fair. How many tickets were sold to the nearest 10? And number three, the Egyptians moved 2,141 blocks of stone to start the pyramid in one year. How many is that to the nearest 10? Use the steps to success. See if you can have a go. Come back in a minute and check the answers. How did you get on? Let's have a look. There'll be 190 cartons, 1,520 tickets sold, 2,140 blocks. Well done, guys. That's the end of rounding to 10. Now we're going to have a look at rounding to 100. We're going to look at rounding to the nearest 100. If you want to look back at the video, you can, but here are the steps to success. If the 10s are below 50, you round down. If the 10s are 50 or more, you round up. You could just look at the 10s and continue with the rhyme if you want. 1 to 4, touch the floor. 5 to 9, climb the vine. So let's look at this number, 389. It lies between 300 and 400. I've got to look at the 10s and 1s together. We've got 89. That is more than 50, so it rounds up to 400. 522, if I look at the 10s and 1s, it's 22. 22 is less than 50, so it would round to 500. Now it's your turn. What would 873 round to? It lies between 800 and 900. Have a go and then come back to me to check. That's right, it rounds to 900 because 73 is greater than 50. Well done. Now it's your turn to have a go in your books. You can either write them down or print them out. Have a look at the first one. It says 234. You need to write the, the hundreds that it lies between. So I've written 200 and 300. And then I've looked at the fact that the tens are three. So 34 is less than 50. So it's going to round down and I've circled the 200. Pause the video, have a go, and then come back to me and we can check. How did you get on? You can mark your own work. Well done. There were a couple of tricky ones towards the end, weren't there? Now have a go at Chili 2. Use the steps to success and round the following numbers to the nearest 100. Pause the video, have a go, and then come back to me to check. Check your answers to see how you got on. Well done. Now have a go at Chili 3. A lorry driver travels 314 miles in one day. What is that to the nearest 100? The scribe wrote down 1,776 hieroglyphs in one day. How many is that to the nearest 100? And the Egyptians believed in 2,043 gods and goddesses. How many gods and goddesses is that to the nearest 100? Have a go, jot it down and then come back to me to check. How did you do? It was 300 miles, 1,800 hieroglyphs and 2,000 gods and goddesses. Well done. That's it for rounding to 100. We're going to move on to rounding to 1,000 now. Now we're going to look at rounding to the nearest 1,000. You can check back to the video if you'd like, but here are the steps to success. If the hundreds are below 500, round down. If the hundreds are 500 or above, round up. You can still use the rhyme, one to four, touch the floor, five to nine, climb the vine, if you want to just check the hundreds numbers out. It's up to you. Use whichever one works best for you. Let's look at this number, 4,367. It lies between 4,000 and 5,000. I need to look at the hundreds along with the tens and the ones, and it's 367. That is less than 500, so it's going to round down to 4,000. 7,823 lies between 7,000 and 8,000. I've got to look at the hundreds numbers with the tens and the ones. I've got 823, that's greater than 500, so it's going to round up to 8,000. Now it's your turn. What would 3,479 round to if it was the nearest thousand? It lies between 3,000 and 4,000. Use the steps to success, jot it down, and then come back to me and we can check. That's right, it rounds down to 3,000 because 479 is less than 500. Well done. 
Now it's your turn. Have a go at Chili 1 and see if you can round the numbers to the nearest thousand. Pause the video and then you can come back to me to check the answers. How did you get on? You can have a go at marking your work. Well done. Now it's time for Chili 2. Round the following numbers to the nearest a thousand. Jot them down, then come back to me to check the answers. How did you get on? Mark your work. Good work, guys. Now have a go at Chili 3. There are 9,123 spectators at a football match. How many is that to the nearest thousand? There were 1,862 statues and paintings buried in a pharaoh's tomb. How many is that to the nearest a thousand? It took 1,095 days to build the Great Sphinx. How many is that to the nearest a thousand? Jot it down and then come back to check the answers. How did you get on? There were 9,000 spectators, 2,000 statues and paintings and a thousand days. Or you could say roughly three years to build the Great Sphinx. Well done, guys. That's it for rounding to a thousand. Now that you've had a go at rounding to the nearest ten, hundred and a thousand separately, I'd like you to have a go at a final activity where you're going to use all of it all together. So your final activity is a matching one. Look at the numbers on the left. Then you've got whether it's rounded to the nearest ten, a hundred or a thousand in the middle. And then on the other side are the answers. And it says the top tip is to start with the larger number first. Have a go, jot them down in your books and then come back to me and we can check. How did you get on with that? I'll also send you the answers on Parent Mail so you can double check or you can just pause the video and have a look. Well done guys. Well done to 4B for being the best class for my maths this week. Well done, that's fantastic 4B. Here are the TT Rockstars winners for most amount of coins earned in the last seven days. This was taken at the time of filming. So well done Archie L in 4EP, Ella M in 4B, Matty W in 4M, and Harry B in 4S. Keep up the good work, guys. Well done on your work on rounding this week. Don't forget to log into My Maths and have a go at the rounding activities. Keep up the good work, guys.